So now let's see how to create your apps on the Play Store. To do that, let's go ahead and click on the create app button. So here you can enter your app name, your default language and choose app from this option. And uh, from here you can mention whether it is a paid or a free app. Most likely it will be a free app, meaning it's free to download for the students. And then you can go ahead and accept the declarations. So I have done that and now let's go ahead and click on create. So this takes me to the play.google.com dashboard. So here you will find all the steps you need to publish your app. So let's go ahead, scroll down and here let's click on the set up your app option. And here you can click on view task. You will find a sequence of steps that you need to complete. So let's click on the first one, which is to set your privacy policy. So here you can paste your organization's privacy policy URL. So here I'm pasting my privacy policy URL. Now, if you don't have your privacy policy URL yet, you can go to Google, type in privacy policy generator. And here you can check on any of these uh, privacy policy generator tools and create your privacy policy URL. Now let's go back to the dashboard of your play console. And after entering your privacy policy URL, you can click on save. So this step is done. Next, let's go to app access. Here you can mention all functionality is available and then click on save. Next, let's go to ads and here you can mention whether your apps contain ad or not. So right now let's mention no and click on save. Next, let's click on the content rating option and here you will be popped with a questionnaire. You can click on start questionnaire. So here you can enter your email ID and then choose a category of your app. You can choose the third option that is your app is in a game or a networking app and now click on next and here you can answer the other questionnaires so here the question will be whether your app has uh, any ratings relevant content like sex violence or language so you can select no and you can read these options and select the appropriate ones most likely all these options will be no for your app as well now you can scroll down to the bottom of this content ratings and here under uh, miscellaneous does your app allow users to purchase digital goods you can select yes and is the app a web browser or a search engine you can give no and is your app a news or educational product you can select yes now you can click on save and then click on next now this shows the summary of your app now you can click on submit and now you can go back to your dashboard now let's select the target audience. Depending on the age of your target audience, you can select the appropriate checkbox. So in this case, uh, my uh, app will be targeting only 18 and above. Now let's go ahead and click on next. Does this appeal to children? You can select no. Now you can click on save. So here our changes has been saved. Now let's again go back to the dashboard. And here we'll have this news apps option. Let's select that. So is your app a news app? You can select no and then click on save and again go back to the dashboard next uh, for covid 19 uh, tracing and status app details so here you can select the third option that is my app is not a publicly available covid 19 contact tracing or status app and then click on save once you have saved you can again go back to the dashboard and here you will get into the data safety option now data safety option is very exhaustive so what we have done from our side is we have created a data safety export file so it's a small csv file which contains all the generic details that will apply to most of the educational apps so i'll share the link of this data safety export file in this video description you can download this file and then you can come back to your uh, play store dashboard and here you can go to import from csv option you can select this option and then upload the csv file that you have just download it. So right now I have imported the CSV file. So let's click on import and yes, select the import option. So as you can see, all the options are populated. So just a quick note. So what we have done is we have given you a generic file. You can upload this file. And after that, you, you can review each option and then select those options that applies to you. So right now these details apply to my business. So let's go ahead and click on next. Again, I would go ahead and click on next. So here it will show what all details we are collecting from students. So let me go ahead and click on next. And finally, after uh, placing all the details, we have come to the submit page 
and now I can click on submit. So the changes has been done. So let's go back to the dashboard. And now finally the two steps are select an app category and provide contact details. So let's click on that detail. So within the app category, you can choose whether it's an app or a game. So we have chosen an app. Within the categories, you can select education. And uh, within the tags, you can click on manage tags. And here you can again choose education as the niche and then click on apply. So here you can enter your email ID, phone number and website details. And now once done, you can click on save. So make sure that you are entering the phone number with a plus 91 in front of your mobile number. Otherwise you will get an error. Now let's go back to the dashboard. And then finally, the last step is set up your store listing. So let's click on that option. So here you can enter your app details, which is your app name, your apps, short description, long description. And finally, here you can upload your app graphics. So here you can insert the screenshots from your phone. If you have a screenshots of your tablet, you can insert the screenshots of your tablet as well. And once you are done, you can click on save. Once these steps are done, you will again come back to your dashboard. So here you can scroll down to the end of this dashboard. And here you will have this option of publish your app on Google Play. So again, here there will be some tasks. You can click on those tasks. So for example, select countries and regions. Let's go ahead and select that. And here you can click on add countries. So uh, here you can select any number of countries. So if you want to select only India, you can search for India. You can also go ahead and select all the countries and click on add countries. So this will add all the countries within Play Store. And once you have added the countries, you can click on create new release. And this takes us to the review and release section. So here you can upload your app bundle. So to get the app bundle, you can go back to your admin dashboard. And here you can click on the download AAB file. So right now the AAB file has been downloaded. Now let's go back to the Play Store. And here you can click on upload option. So right now this will be an app.aab file. So let's select the file and then click on open. So as the AAB file is getting uploaded, you can give a release name here and wait for another 10 to 15 minutes for the file to get uploaded. 